Hello everybody and welcome to this video where I am going to write a entire chapbook in one hour or less. And um, I did this when I was at the beach yesterday. And the way I put this together was using my endless poem making a chapbook thing the my chapbook for next month drinking less that was done the same way on a zoom call with people in the anarchy crew um but yeah so this is that technique the vlog of me being at the beach talking about doing this will be out later but this is just like the nitty gritty of me actually doing it. So you're gonna be able to see the clock, you're gonna see the writing and all that other stuff. There is a break in the middle of it where something happened and I'll talk about it in the vlog. And then I came back and finished what I was doing. But then when I woke up this morning, I remembered a poem that I wanted to write that I didn't write. So I might add that as like a 10th poem, but these poems are pretty long, so I think they'll be okay. So without any further papoo, here is what I did and I'll be back at the end maybe. So the reason why I time it, I usually start off with the first poem being 10 minutes long. Like I just write for 10 minutes. The reason why I do the timing is because for some reason, when you are, you know there's a clock going, the inner editor's gone. Like, you're, you don't, like, go back and start fumbling with words and all this shit. You're just like, I need to get down as much stuff as I can. And if you notice, like, I don't correct words or anything on this first pass. I just type and type and type, and my thumbs hit everything. So it's whatever. And then in a minute here, the timer is going to go off right there. And so I take five minutes now, and I go through the poem, and I find words that I liked or phrases that I liked from that one poem. So my kid texted me and I answered that. Oh, let me do this. This is awesome. And then while this was going on, I saw um, a seagull. And I'm like, oh, I should take that thing's picture. Seagull. And then um, I get right back to work. But yeah, so I look for words that I like. Um, and hopefully you end up with 10. Like that's kind of the goal. If you have more, that's awesome. And so right now I'm, I already start into the next poem, which is the pier. And I checked the time, and I saw two minutes left, so now I start writing sand. And um, you just go. The timer goes off. I finish the poem, put another five minutes on the clock, and just start going. You know, And you just keep doing this until your shit's done. And I think this first um, tequila and grapefruit's the next thing I got there. And the timer goes off. I start the timer again, another five minutes. Honestly, what you probably should do is turn your notifications off and um, do not disturb. That would probably have been the smarter thing to do. And so then I was just going through and um, erasing words that I wasn't using. So now I'm writing seagulls, which wasn't on the list, but a seagull just came up and almost tried to eat my face. So I put that in there. Now, when you're doing this, I want to be very clear that you can definitely go back and like edit stuff and change words and you know do whatever you have to do the whole idea is getting it down on the fucking screen so now what you're going to be seeing here is this is like a couple hours later i sobered up drove home um and then started getting drunk again at home and then i started this so again i'm doing five minute increments or whatever and um i just start typing more of the ideas that were on my list and again if you come up with more the whole idea about doing this for a chapbook in one sitting is that the poems will all be interconnected like the theme will run through all of them so if you're taking your first poem in the chapbook and it's this big heavy 10 minute epic and then you pull a bunch of words out of that and then write poems about those words everything through the book is going to be connected. Do you see what I'm saying? So it like makes the theme shit work a lot better. But again, like I have already gone through and a lot of the words that were misspelled in the other poems, I changed them out. I wanted to add that the reason why I do five minute increments is that I'm hoping that each poem I write, I could write within five minutes. And so after that five minutes ends, I try to just finish that up and then go to the next poem on the next five minute thing. But there are some poems that I finish in like two minutes. And so I'll try to squeeze another poem 
in on that five minute block. So that's something to just like keep pushing the amount of poems that you're gonna have in the book. This is something that people ask me about all the time. Like I wanna write a chat book, but I don't know if I have enough poems that are like similar. And again, you don't have to have like a theme for your chat book. The theme could be, these are poems you wrote. But if you want to do themed chat books, this is a really great way of doing it. You take that big fucking poem, the, the 10 minute epic, pull as many words out of it as you can, and then write poems about those individual things. You know what I'm saying? It's just a really easy way to put something together really quickly. And like all of you could do this. Like there, there's no reason why you guys can't do this. You just have to turn your inner editor off and just write. And then when you're done, go back and edit what you want to edit. But please don't do the thing where you're going to second guess every decision you make and the whole deal. It's just you go back to clean up, to take a couple words out if you need to take a couple words out. If you come up with a great line you want to throw in there, throw that in there. But don't start agonizing over each line and if it's any good because it is good because you made it okay and you are the audience for this so if you have any questions about this or anything like that um just leave me a comment down below and hit me up and if you want to like do something like this every week the anarchy crew gets together every friday on a live zoom call and we do writing prompts and then like we read what we did and all this other stuff great community the whole fucking deal so if you're into that join the anarchy crew down below and um we'll see you there okay so type hard and i'll talk to you all later i just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible anarchy crew and my followers on patreon i appreciate the hell out of you guys and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible you guys are awesome and if you'd like to join the crew with the anarchy crew just hit the join button beneath this video and if you'd like to become a member of my patreon you can run over to the link down below to do that as well thank you